As we start to face the consequences of the lockdown policies, we are starting to find out more about what actually happened in 2020, especially with politicians shifting the blame. Now, first things first, they're all as bad as each other, regardless of party colours, they all did it. And it was all about the race to the top, or race to the bottom actually, when it comes to doing more lockdowns. Now we found out some more information about how Nicola Sturgeon, and the likes of Nicola Sturgeon and Mark Drakeford, essentially managed to create a peer pressure environment to basically force Matt Hancock and weak politicians like Matt Hancock and Boris Johnson to follow their ideas. It's not really surprising. Same thing happened when Italy went into lockdown. All the other countries said, well, that's awkward. Maybe we should do it too. Now we find out more about what's actually happened during the 2020-2021 era of lockdown decisions and everything else that actually happened. Now, Matt Hancock has claimed that uh, when Nicola Sturgeon decided to basically lead the way and do more uh, measures, including mandatory masks, especially in schools, he thought he had no cho choice. He had to do it. He says... Nicola Sturgeon blinded side, um, blindsided us by suddenly announcing that when schools in Scotland reopen, all secondary school pupils will have to wear masks in classrooms. In one of her most <laughs> egregious attempts at one-upmanship to date, he says she didn't consult us. <laughs> okay, Matt. The problem is that our original guidance on face coverings, especially and when it, when it's come to excluding schools. That was supposed to be the idea. But Matt Hancock was so weak that Nicola Sturgeon managed to force him to follow her policy to do face coverings, mandatory coverings in schools. What is this, 1979 Iran? It's absolutely embarrassing. This is actually completely weird because, yeah, we could say we're moving away from health lockdowns. But as we reported on this channel earlier this week, we are going towards climate lockdowns and Oxfordshire is going to be the first area to do climate lockdowns in 2024. So you're going to have a situation where because Oxfordshire is doing it, now you're going to say Lincolnshire doing it. Now you're going to have Cornwall doing it and you're going to say London doing it. And then they, afterwards they're going to shift the blame. Yes, Nicola Sturgeon is a terrible person, but Matt Hancock is also a terrible person. Mark Drakeford is also... A horrible person <laughs> they're all as bad as each other and they're simply shifting the blame you all did it now you're trying to run away from holding yourself to account personal responsibility does not exist in the world of politics in 2021 now we're going to take a quick break we're going to come back in half an hour on my tcn we are the media